Hello, hello everybody. How y'all doing? Come in. I'm gonna show y'all real quick what I made for my brother. He gonna take to his job. Okay, so come in. <coughs> I need some water. Come in everybody. Come in. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. I see y'all coming through. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? All right. So I could have came on a little bit earlier, but I didn't. Because my brother. He's over here now. He wanted me to make some devil eggs for his job tomorrow, right? So I made some devil eggs. I'm going to show y'all. Hello. How y'all doing? Hope y'all doing okay. Coming on a little late, but it's all good. It's all good. Let me show y'all how my devil eggs came out. And look, he even paid me for my services. <laughs> I wasn't looking for that because he hooked me up and got some stuff for me at the grocery store. So it was like, okay, thank you. So these are my devil eggs, everybody. I finished them, okay? And I do a real simple recipe. And it's really tasty. I'm going to show y'all everything I use, okay? So I've already finished it. Oh, look how pretty. These are my devil eggs. You know what? I'm going to add that to my catering services. You know, as an appetizer. Because everybody loves my devil eggs. They love my devil eggs. Hello. Welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Rochelle. Brian. Everybody coming through. I see y'all. I see y'all. So I did two trays of devil eggs for my brother for his job tomorrow. He works in engineering, so his boss is having a, a party. So he asked me to make it for him. So I hate that I don't have the plastic devil egg tray. I have a devil egg tray, but it's glass, so I'm not going to give him that one. And I'm going to tell you all what, what I did. Really easy. Sandwich spread. You use sandwich spread because sandwich spread have all these ingredients in it already. Look at that. You got your sugar. You got food starch. It has mustard, red bell peppers, paprika, garlic, onions, turmeric. Oh my gosh. Y'all have to try this combination. All I did was mix the yolk after peeling the egg with the sandwich spread and Kraft Real Mayo. Okay. And then the only thing that this is on top, y'all, is Tony Saturates <clears throat> Original Creole Seasoning. Okay. So that's hey Chaz, how you doing? Thank you for your order. Hi Don, New Jersey, welcome. Hi Tambria, how y'all doing? Everybody coming through. Capricia, I see you, Miss Tammy, Miss Vicky, Melanie, LaPortia. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Hello everybody, thank y'all for coming through. Okay, so yay, that's my devil eggs. Okay. So that's how I made my devil eggs, everybody. It's, uh oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm pressing buttons over here. So everything is completed for my brother. All I have to do is just wrap it up for him. What happened to my Pandora? Okay, anyway. All I got to do, hard to find for me, where do you purchase it from the sandwich spread? I got it from HEB, Miss Mary. HEB. Well, my brother. My brother got all, all of the ingredients. Hello. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Hello. Hey, y'all, y'all. All right. So here we go. So what I'm going to do, his stuff is finished because he have to work in the morning, okay? So my brother is having, um, they having a, like a dinner for his manager. They having a party, not a dinner, okay? So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some plastic wrap over it, and then I'm going to put some fall because I don't have the tops, okay? So, what y'all watching?
watching, Sammy. She got you watching it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, Sammy, look, I'm going to put the plastic wrap over, okay? And then I'm going to put the fog. So, just put it in the refrigerator when you get home so they can stay nice and cool. I took pictures. I'm going to post it, okay? All right, they ready? All right. Hold on, y'all. Let me bring my brother. because it kind of cut off for a second but I'm really cutting it back on so yeah if you just coming through I just made two pans of devil eggs for my brother for his job tomorrow he works in engineering so his boss is having a party and he asked me to make my devil eggs y'all I promise that's how my family used to think I knew how to cook was devil eggs every every time they'll be like I'm like, what y'all want me to cook? Y'all want me to make some dirty rice? Y'all want me to make? They be like, no, just bring the eggs. I'm like, what? I'm like, I can do more than just eggs. That's all they ever wanted me to make was devil eggs. I got offended. You hear me, Samuel? That's all y'all ever wanted me to make was devil eggs. Devil eggs all the time. Okay, so I'm wrapping it up for Got my chicken right there, everybody. Now, who likes okra gumbo? Well, at least that's what my family call. You know, that's what they call it. Okra gumbo. Who likes okra, okra gumbo? I love okra. So, I'm just covering everything right now, okay? I'm going to add these on my menu. Wow, I didn't even think about it, right? So I'm gonna add that as an appetizer on my menu. Hello, Michelle. How you doing? Hello, everybody. I gotta put on my music. Y'all know I don't feel right about my music. All right, two coming up. Woo! There you go. You all done. No, it's all yours. No, it's all wrapped. It. <coughs> all right. Woo! That's some hard work in peeling all them eggs, y'all. I love devil eggs. I know, right? That's how my family thought I can cook was devil eggs. But they just like my devil eggs. <laughs> Until they taste well. My mom and them know how I cook. Some people in my family don't really know. Hi, Miss Tammy. Thank you. She said, I love your spirit. Thank you. Hey, honey. Hey, Tiff. What's up, Tiff? Hey, Miss Mary, how you doing? I love it that time of the season. Cold, I know, right? Yes. So, y'all get to see how I'm going to make my okra go tonight. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me go in and put my music back on. I got to have my music. Okay, so it should be coming back on. Doja Cat. Hey, Faye, did you turn down my radio? You better turn my radio back on right now. Just laying down, trying to stay warm. Hey, Faye. Oh. Turn my music back up right now. I know I got my pen to turn it up. Oh, my song. Yeah. Whoa. Welcome to Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Houston, Texas. Where y'all at? Y'all here already? Let's get started. I wonder if you think about me. <laughs> Just like you. I wonder if your heart is healing. That's my song. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Fight. Turn it up a little bit. Turn up my damn song. Turn on my song now. Let me know. I'm going to throw you out of here now. All right. Nothing 
Hello. Yay. Hello, California House. Hey, Queen. Hi, Angela. How you doing? Welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Houston, Texas. Let's have some fun. You know what I'm saying? I know it's late, but I had to make my brother Devil Eggs for his job for a party tomorrow. I got that done. Now, it's time for me to go ahead and create my okra gumbo. I love it. My grandmother used to always, 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 always make it. It's so good. So good. Oh, damn it! <laughs> The water fell. Okay, I better get one. No, don't come over here and interrupt it, no ma'am. Get, get out. All right. So, first of all, what happened now? <laughs> my brother ain't gonna fit Okay, thank you, brother. I have company. My brother is here right now. But I already finished with his stuff. Okay. What is so, it? Periscope? No, say hi. What up? What That's up, my y brother, y'all. That's my youngest brother. Mommy. <laughs> That's the engineer. <laughs> That's her favorite uncle. I got two back. I got two brothers. Love that crown. Thank you, Araya. You want it? It's Moss Agate. This is called African. This is an African glass bead. It was individually developed, like in a hot, what you call it, furnace. It's a tribe that makes these bees in Africa. And um, it's wrapped with copper wire to everybody. If y'all don't know. I'm a jewelry designer over eight years. Self-taught. I make rings. I make necklaces. I make crowns. You have a special occasion, birthday, photo session. Just remember me. I hook you up. Everybody know me at the Shrine of the Black Madonna. I always go there every month. Think I'm going to need that. All right, Araya. Hey. All right. I love when I sell my jewelry, so don't think I die. I love it. Mom, where's the spoon? I don't know, but you gotta, you gotta get out. You gotta get out of here. You gotta go, you gotta go. She gotta go, Samuel. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sam Bria. That's my youngest brother. I have two brothers. My I'm oldest brother. Okay. Hey, thank you. Come here. <coughs> Let me wash this off real quick. Then we can get started, okay? I jumped from making devil eggs and now I'm jumping into making my okra gumbo. So sorry, y'all. Y'all know me. I usually feel a little bit more prepared, but I'm starting late, so I had to do some extra work. Sam, is she going with? No, it's cold outside. Okay, I like the dough. I like the dough when you go out. Yeah, he's, it's a big difference. Hey, my beautiful black queen. Hi, Malcolm. How you doing? Thank you. Gorgeous family. Oh, thank you, Dunn. That's my brother. My youngest brother. That's the engineer. Lord, when Faith start getting that hard homework, and she's sharp, y'all. She good at math. She's so good at math, she be trying to count my money. Okay, you make this much. I'll be like, ah, 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 ah. good. <coughs> All right, my chicken is already marinated. I got pie burns Creole sausage from the meat market. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do all three of these. I wanted to save one for breakfast, but it's okay. All right, so these are fresh sausages I get from Pie Burns, okay? Pie Burns is a popular meat market in Houston. 
and they made fresh yummy yummy for my tummy you know what I'm saying <laughs> hold on y'all I gotta get something to drink though you know what I'm saying <laughs> I think I got a little bit of wine left I think I got a little something left you know so just bear with me how y'all doing today got a nice little crowd tonight thank y'all so much for watching I'm finished with the devil eggs let me grab my little fresh ingredients real quick all right so we're gonna do some over gumbo tonight 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 get my fresh cilantro some onion you gotta have spice. You gotta have some spice, y'all. All right. Gotta have spice. Okay. Now I can go ahead and start my meal. And what's so good is cool. So I want something that's soupy. You know what I'm saying? You know, when it's cold outside, you just want something that's gonna keep you nice and warm. As you can hear my my voice. I don't know. Um, hold on, y'all. Okay. Thank y'all so much for your patience. Like I said, I jumped from doing the devil eggs to now doing my part, okay? I had to get him off the way though. If you are new and you never seen me cook before, make sure you let me know where you're from, okay? My name is Yolanda Patillo. I'm from Houston, Texas. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm from Houston, Texas, but my family is originally from Marsville, Louisiana, but I was born and raised here, so this is all I know is Texas, baby. You, I belong to you, you. So what are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? I belong to. Hey, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? All right. Okay, so what are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? I prepared menudo with yo-yo seasoning. <laughs> How did you like it, Miss Mary? I know you made another dish too. Thank you for loving my seasoning. Thank everybody for loving my seasonings. Thank all of y'all for loving all of my stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love my food friends. I wish I could meet y'all, you know? One day I will. Say, hey, go on the front. Hi, Miss Ford. How you doing? Welcome, Charlie, Felicia. Hello, everybody coming through. All right, so let me go ahead and... Y'all believe I'm still drinking on this wine. Look. Is that Sammy? What's Sammy? I just heard him come in. Hello. Sammy. Sammy, y'all. I heard somebody come in. Ah, ah, ah. You better sit down. No, ma'am. All right. Sorry, y'all. So, look. If you want me to make you a nice romantic dinner for you and your significant other and you're in the Houston area, book me. I'll take care of you. Let me fix your food. 
let me set up the scenery for you, you know, some nice rose petals on the table, bouquet of roses, whatever color you like, you know, a good salad, a good ribeye, some calabasa. Let me make it for you. Let me make it happen for you, you know. All you got to do is go to my website. Okay, mama. All you got to do is go to my website and book me. Got to be in Texas, though. Houston. Well, as long as it's not too far, we can make arrangements, okay? You leaving? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later. All right. See you later. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Hold on, y'all. Let me let my brother out real quick. Give me one second and I'm ready to cook. I promise. I'm back, food friends. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Go sit down. I'm back. Y'all got my full undivided attention. Thank y'all for being patient. As I was saying, y'all come and book me. Okay? I, I have one person Well, that I met at the shrine. It's my mom and dad um, friends. He's a retired firefighter and his wife. She wants me to cook a dinner for them, so I hope she follows through. I'm going to have to follow back with her. And then I just got another caterer. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then it hits me. You know what I'm saying? This is my song right here. Hey, turn up my music. So yeah. And his family. He said, Hey, I need to use your catering service. It's my guard brother, right? He wants me to make a lot of stuff. He wants me. He's gonna do barbecue. He wants me to make dirty rice, side salad, potato salad, maybe appetizer. I'm not for sure, but I'm gonna hook him up. And he's like, I just want you to do it for me. I'm like, yeah. That'll be my second catering, y'all. We'll see how it's gonna go. So they're having like some kind of party, you know. I love it. I love to see people reaction when they eat my food. Okay, 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 okay. I'm finna start cooking. Because I'm running my mouth too much. Hey, turn it up. I can't hear my music. All right. I'm moving y'all. Till the morning comes. All right, y'all ready? Let's get started. Oh. So all that time, my meat has been marinating. I'm going to show y'all really quick, okay? So my meat has been marinating in lime juice, Yo-Yo's Kitchen seasoning, drumsticks. <coughs> All right, this is what I season it with. This is my own recipe, my all-purpose seasoning with organic herbs. As you can see how good those herbs look. Y'all don't know how much seasoning I have sold. Okay, so I got that. Got a few little veggies over here, okay? I got a big bag of okra. Yeah, you know it's going to get. My brother done hooked me up. We was going back and forth on the phone. And I love whole tomatoes. When I make a soup or something, Tomato paste. Oh, I was gonna say, oh man, he got the wrong thing. Okay, tomato paste. He got it. I never brought it that big. I always brought it in a smaller one, okay? So cut okra, tomatoes, okay? My sausages is in the oven. Okay, sausages in the oven. All right. Okay, I think I'm ready to cook now. Oh, y'all, I feel like it ain't never took me this long to start cooking, right? Shit. 
damn it. I don't know where the hell. Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> yes, they're Creole sausage. So they're Creole sausages, okay? So since I don't have my garlic, oh! I had some garlic. I brought a new thing of garlic, and I don't know where my garlic is, but it's all good. Yeah, My seasoning is gonna take care of everything. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and drizzle that. Okay. So. Mm. Since I can't find my garlic right now, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and start with the onion. Got my new knife. Okay, nice and short. I'm gonna make sure I upload this video to YouTube, everybody. Okay, so please make sure you like the video, share it if you like this video. I think y'all like it. I normally don't have my body here when I'm cooking, right? All right. Go ahead and put some onion up in there. Okay. I'm gonna kind of let that marry together. Okay. You feel the same till the morning comes. Okay. So look, I can't find my garlic. So what I'm doing, I'm just gonna put the onion in the oil. Okay. Usually I see up all my meat first and then I'm gonna start building the okra gumbo from that point. Okay, everybody. So right here I'm just gonna do the onions. I'm gonna let the sausage cook up. I will sear the sausage up once they come out and I cook them. Okay. I need to order the rest of the season. Okay, Miss Mary, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy y'all here tonight with me. Sorry about coming out so late. I'm sorry. But it's all good. Okay, got the onions are smelling nice. I can smell them already, okay? Let them sweat out a little bit, okay? So let me go ahead and also sear up the red bell pepper and some serrano pepper as well. I'm gonna cut this down, okay? Wash my veggies. Wash them up a little bit. Cut them up a little bit. I know y'all probably don't want to watch me cook. So. All right. Okay. Gonna add this. Okay, so are y'all. Yes, I want to see it. Honey, I'm going to see your picture. Oh, good. I want to try that. You gave me an idea, Miss Carol. What are you making? I'm making an offer gumbo. Uh, you making chicken too? Yes. Can I have some of the chicken? Are you finished? Yes, please. I want to see it. I know it looks good. I know it's going to taste good. Okay. All right. So, got that up. I'm going to turn the heat up now. I got my red peel peppers. Okay. Okay. Your name. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Smells awesome. All right. Babe, what time is it? You're going to have to go to bed pretty soon. Yes, you do. All right. You got your money. You gave me some money. Uncle Sammy, I was giving you some. All right, so now I'm gonna add the chicken, okay? Now if I had garlic, I would have put garlic up in here, y'all. That's one of the first things I do. Yeah, but you can't interrupt me. Go in there. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the drumsticks, everybody. Okay. Now my drumsticks is marinated in lemon juice. I'm sorry, lime juice. Okay. I marinated in lime juice. Yes. I love this skillet, y'all. This is such a nice skillet. I want to get the pot to it. Okay. I don't want to overcrowd my pot. Okay, I got two more pieces of chicken. So I want my 
want meat to be very flavorful, okay? It's gonna get it's gonna pick up all these flavors, alright? Yeah. So so <coughs> now I call this meal an okra gumbo. So I know a lot of you have tried this before, especially if you're from Louisiana. So, and I know different parts of Louisiana, people from different places call things different differently. You know what I'm saying? So give me some names of what you would actually call this meal where you're from. And if you're new and you're just coming in, please let me know where you're from because I do go back over the video after it's over. Okay. So I'm gonna get a nice, you know, sear on the chicken. Okay, thank you, Miss Mary. I'm gonna get a nice sear on the chicken. So who likes okra gumbo out there? Give me some thumbs up. Just in case y'all don't know. Um, I am now. It's a restaurant. Well, it's like a restaurant in Houston. Actually, in the area where I grew up in, Sunnyside, called uh, Uncle Winker's um, Donut Squirrel Donut. Uncle Winker's Squirrel Donut. So, <coughs> his wife met me at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, right? And um, she purchased my soap before and everything. She liked it. She actually seen something I post on Facebook and she just came up there. She didn't know who I was. She seen my soap and she wanted my soap. And she came and she told me, I seen your post. And I was like shocked. I was like, wow. Somebody actually from Facebook that came up here from a post. <coughs> so, it's her and her husband's restaurant. They own the restaurant. So now I'm happy to say that Yo Yo Kitchen Seasoning is now being used in a restaurant called Uncle Winker's Swirl Donuts in Sunnyside. They're going to be using my seasoning that I create in their food to their customers. Isn't that awesome? God is good, right? I would never ever know that somebody, I mean, I know my seasoning is good. I know it's good. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, wow. So I'm going to be his vendor for his spices now because he likes the taste of mine with his. And he actually likes mine by itself as well, okay? So y'all look out. Don't know what else is going to happen, what else God got saying. For my life, I'm just kind of going with the flow. And when you go with the flow each and every day, and you don't worry about things that you go through, don't ever worry. Don't ever worry about anything. Always have faith in God and put your trust in Him. And I promise you, everything is going to be okay. I don't care what you're going through. It's always going to be okay. I promise. It's how my chicken looking, everybody, okay? All-purpose seasoning. If you want to buy it, you can go in my store and purchase it. Make sure you add me as your friend, okay? Make sure you add me as your friend. So that way you can see all of my videos. You can see all of my videos when I come on. Amen. Thank you, Chaz. Thank you, Miss Mary. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all something. I went to school for medical assistant, okay? I graduated in 2002. I haven't worked a regular job in over a year. And it's not because I don't need a job, because I need a job. So don't y'all ever think I don't need a regular job. I do, okay? But God has showed me that this is what he wants me to do. He wants me to be creative. He wants me to show people the things I do. He wants me to try to help people in natural ways. That's why I also make natural body products from scratch, soap, body butter, deodorant. Come to me. You know, it's wonderful when you can support small businesses like mine. I don't care who has a small business. It's a beautiful thing when you can support small businesses because Small businesses do this for their family. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what business you do. They're doing it for their family, to take care of their family. I know I love Oprah and want to try. Okay. And I got a surprise for y'all this year. Y'all just be patient. I'm working on a project. I've been working on it for a minute. Y'all know I'm a monthly pastor. But I'm going to have some good things that's going to come up this year. So y'all stay tuned. 
It's only going to get better and better and better, I promise you. Okay, everything takes time. You know, I'm a single mom. I'm not married no more. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> no, I did like being married when I was married, but oh well. Life goes on. The chicken is looking beautiful, everybody. Yes. So basically, y'all, let me tell y'all what I did. I created a job for myself. When somebody tell you no, and you know that you got, you intelligent, you don't let nobody tell you. Or don't let nobody make you feel like you ain't good enough because you are good enough. You know what I'm saying? You are good enough. I created a job for myself. That's what I did. Jewelry over eight years, natural products over two years. It's been, yes, Miss Michelle. I'm gonna put my link right here, y'all, okay? All right. That's my link, everybody. Yoyoscreations.com. Check me out. Y'all probably see something y'all love. I added some new soap. Hey, babe, bring me a water. A water? Yes, please. All right. So there go my chicken. It's smelling awesome. Remember, lime juice. Lime. Yes. Can you tell mommy that anything for you? Thank you. Can you bring me like three more? Thank you, Faith. All right. Okay, so chicken looks good, okay? I'm going to go ahead and start taking some of this out. Just want to get a good sear. It's going to continue cooking in the okra gumbo, okay, everybody? Any water? All right. Move back, Mama. I'm gonna move this. All right. I'm gonna transfer the chicken over now, okay? I'm gonna transfer it over over here with all the juices, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and fry. Well, I think I probably have enough chicken, y'all. We'll see, okay? All that goodness goes in here, okay? All of that. All of that. Yes, yeah. there you go. So now, we're gonna go in and add some water up in here, okay? Let's go ahead and start building the gumbo, the awful gumbo, okay? Okay, so now you don't hear that noise no more, okay? Perfect, okay? Hey, right, sit down. So we got that going, all right? Sausage is looking pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes, all right? Okay, so me personally, whenever I make a soup, I love to use whole tomatoes, okay? <coughs> I like to make whole tomatoes because when you eat your soup, it's like the tomatoes just kind of burst. You know what I'm saying? It gives us awesome flavors. I saw the new soap. Oh, you did? I got to add the cucumber meal and soap, Chaz. I got to add that one. Chaz, if you add it, let me know, okay? And I take off the shipping. And all I can do is add it to your order, okay? So just let me know, all right? So, dumping them. One tomato, one can, okay? All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and break open the okra. Okay, you can use any brand okra. The store brand is fine, everybody. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Put some okra up in here. And I'm gonna put a gin in some on. Ooh, that's gonna be good. All right, say the rest. We're gonna say the rest. So go ahead and give it a nice little stir. All right, making sure everything is in there. 
Okay, I have not added the sausages yet, everybody. Okay. Go ahead and mix everything up. Okay. You are going to add some sugar up in there. I want it to be spicy. Not too spicy. Okay. But I am going to add two more pieces of serrano. Okay. Two more pieces of serrano. But how y'all liking it so far? How everybody liking it so far? Okay. Going to add some more water up in here. Hopefully y'all can see that pretty good. Okay. I use drinking water. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a good mix, okay? All right. So, you know, that chicken going to be awesome. I'm making a very nice gravy. I haven't added the tomato paste yet, okay? So, the tomato paste will be added, everybody, okay? So, let's go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato paste. So, the tomato paste is going to make it nice, rich. It's going to give it a beautiful color, okay? So, that's what we want to do next. Why, y'all, but I just had a taste for this tonight, okay? So I'm going to open my tomato paste and add the tomato paste in there, okay? And I also got another can of tomatoes. I told my brother, I said, okay, so this is tomato paste, okay? Nice and thick, okay? And this is actually 12 ounces. I usually get a small can. Okay, so here we go. Alright. This is what a beautiful color gonna come in, everybody. Okay. Comfortable. I wanna use the whole thing because I'm not gonna use it for nothing else. Okay, so I might as well use all of it. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful color. So add your tomato paste next, all right? The whole can. Now, you don't need a big can like this. You can use a smaller can, okay? All right. <clears throat> all right, so now what you're going to do, you're going to mix everything well, okay? So that tomato paste is pretty thick. It's pretty thick, but just like it's going to absorb, okay? So you just want to mix everything good, okay? As you can see, the color trying to come through, okay? Y'all following me? Shrimp will be good. Yes, it would. It would be really good, but I don't have any shrimp. So tonight, I'm only going to do Creole sausages with okra, which is pretty much how my grandmother made it. Now, she probably did add some dried shrimp. Dried shrimps give your gumbo and soups and stuff a really good flavor, okay? Oh, I'm loving the color, y'all. Oh, the color is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. The color is so pretty. Okay. I'm going to cut some more okra up in here, okay? I'm going to cut some more okra. Can y'all see the color coming through? Okay, so all you want to do is just mix, 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 mix it up. Just mix it up, okay? You just want to fill up that rich thick yeah tomato base I'm going to add some more water as well okay add some more water okay so now what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to add some sugar as y'all know I like sweet stuff hello how is it going but I use fresh fajita chicken from the meat market so I can cut it. Yeah, that sounds good, Miss Mary. That's African style cooking too. They use dry shrimp or, or crayfish. Oh, really, Chance? Oh, I gotta look that up. Good morning. So, I'm putting some sugar. Sometimes. I like sweetness to my, to my okra gumbo, okay? Unto the morning. All right. Some more onion. And so now I'm going to cut these, you know. Breakfast in bed. 
okay? So yes, we're gonna mix everything up, okay? So, so far we got chicken in here, onions, tomato paste, whole tomatoes. I'm also gonna put another can of tomatoes up in here, so I'm not finished, okay? So now I'm gonna put a little bit of freshness, okay? Y'all know I love cilantro. I put cilantro on everything. Some people don't like cilantro, but I love cilantro. And live your life tonight until the morning. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I love this little thing. I gotta start using it more. Wash off my cilantro, everybody. Y'all throw down. <laughs> I be trying. I just be trying. You know, I just think my cooking style is different. You know, I've always been different, honestly, from the way I dress, from the way. I do things. I've just always never wanted to be like nobody else, and that's just the honest truth. So it kind of rub off, I guess, in my cooking style a little bit, which I think is like kind of like, you know, soul food, but with a little twist, you know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I put some fresh cilantro up in here, okay? So that's going to give it a pop of freshness right there, okay? Yeah, so you know I gotta have my steamed rice. I'm gonna have to get my rice ready, okay? I'm also gonna put some more of my seasoning. Okay, not only that, I'm going to use some sea salt, okay? Put a nice little amount of sea salt, but not too much, okay? Not too much, though. Okay, so now, got that in there. Good morning, no waste your time. And live your life, baby, up tonight, until the morning. All right, so now I'm going to cut up my sausages. I'm going to cut them off in the oven. Do you use a gumbo seasoning? Oh, yeah, I have used it before. And it's good. <coughs> My grandmother never be using that in the dry shrimp. They be using that for sure. Yeah. Y'all remember when I did the gumbo with the um <laughs> with the um salmon on top? That was good. I, mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me see some. Her spices in the big places. Oh, thank you. You know, I don't really think I'm doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all, this sauce is juicy. It almost... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can't see the forest without the tree. So will you wait for me? Will you wait for me. Okay. So, cutting up my sausages. Okay. All right, cutting them up. I like to cut my sausages like in an angle. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. This one is a beef sausage right here. I tend to like the Creole one a little bit better. I like beef sausages in certain brands. I guess that's what I was saying. Okay. Mix this up. Will you wait for me? Will you wait for me? Will you wait? My evergreen. Y'all ready to add the sausage? Here we go. 
Creole sausages from the meat market, okay, y'all? It smells good already. I'm probably going to transfer a little bit of this into another pot, okay? Because I don't want it to, like, spill over. I'm going to share with my mom them tomorrow. I'm going to share with them tomorrow. My, yeah. Oh, my brother just made it home. Cool. All right. I do have... I'm going to separate some of this, okay, y'all? So will you wait for me, my evergreen? All right, I'm going to clean up my pot real quick, okay? Yeah. I'm coming. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer a little bit of this over, okay? So I'm going to take one of these. Only because I don't like to overcrowd the pot, you know what I'm saying? So, ooh. Hold on. Oh. I'm transferring over. So I'm transferring some of this over, okay? It's kind of give me a little bit more space to work with over here, y'all, okay? Because I do want to add some more tomatoes for sure, okay? If I had some mushrooms, I would have threw some mushrooms up in here. I sure would. I'm gonna put one more chicken on this side over here. Okay. All right. Actually, I can put one more piece of chicken over here on this side. Okay. So there you go. That's giving me a lot more room. I'm gonna add some more okra. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the okra in the other one. Okay. All right. Now that's good. Okay. So I got some in one pot. The rest is in the other pot. Okay. I'm gonna have it on low. Gonna have it on low. And let me get the okra. So, I actually use this whole bag of okra, y'all. Okay. All right. So, I'm gonna cover this in the bag. I got it on low, okay. This one right here is really boiling up, okay. So, I'm just gonna kind of mix it up a little bit, okay. Yes, looking good, looking good. Okay. I can go ahead and throw away my tomato paste. Y'all still there? How much we pay in a pay? I know! I put garlic and creole and Cajun seasoning. Yes, I put my K I put Yo Yo's Kitchen seasoning. Y'all can buy y'all seasoning on my website, everybody. All right. I put my seasoning. I put a little bit of sea salt to kind of bring the naturalness with sea salt, bring it out more. But this is just a simple gumbo, like how, well, okra gumbo, how my grandmother would call it. Okay. Yeah, just a simple one with some drumsticks. I don't know y'all what made me want to cook this. And y'all know I'll never cook this way. Y'all know I don't never, I don't ever cook this way, you know? Oh, but with some pie burns, I still have another sausage. Oh. Hold on. Okay, so I still have another sausage. I will need to meet you at Shippy's Donuts or McDonald's to get my bowl. <laughs> I'll share with you. You want me to save you some, Miss Mary? I'll save you some. I sure will. I sure will. I ain't got a problem with that. You know I'll be at one. <laughs> you know I'll be at one of the two, right? Especially early in the morning. So I'm cutting up my next Creole. So let me know, Miss Mary. I'll save you some. Okay. So I'm cutting up. Remember, I think you enjoy the soup much more when you cut your sausages in an angle. Thank y'all so much for still watching. I appreciate it. Uh, cooking is therapeutic, right? Is cooking therapeutic for y'all? Does it make you feel good? Because that's the way my jewelry made me feel. When I first started doing jewelry and when I was going through something, jewelry gave me a peace of mind. It made me feel 
free. It made me feel like I could just do whatever I wanted to do. So if cooking is therapeutic for you, that's a good thing, okay? All right. So I'm gonna add some more. Yes. Okay, hold on. That's the rest of the Creole sausage. Okay. Oh, y'all, this looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need a little bit more juice on this side, okay? A little bit more. I'm gonna add some in the back. Okay. Yes. Now. Okay, a little bit of fresh herbs. Don't hurt nothing. Don't hurt nothing. Okay. <coughs> All right. So, y'all know drumsticks don't taste. You know, it doesn't take very long to cook. Okay, it really doesn't. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add. Cause I love tomatoes, and I'm adding some in the back as well. Okay, okay. Go ahead and mix it up real quick. Okay. So today, everybody, I'm preparing an okra gumbo. Okay, Creole style, like how my grandmother used to make it, how she still makes it. I miss your answer to the seafood bar. Will you do one? I never have myself. I like seafood, but I'm not crazy about seafood. Um, I like certain type of seafood. I love shrimps. I have never rib well, I ate lobster before, but I know it's good because everybody always eating it. I'm gonna have a video where I actually um, you know, do something special. But I just don't know exactly when because y'all know I'm always cooking all kind of different stuff, you know. So um <clears throat> I done a sausage, shrimp, corn potatoes i'm more simpler i'm more simple you know what i'm saying but yes i do like seafood but i don't get too dramatic with it you know what i'm saying but it's all oh, good you know what i mean i'm gonna let y'all see how this look in the back as well oh it looks so good Oh, as y'all see me, I do add, I do add, let me cut this down. I do add um, a little bit of sugar, okay? Crawfish shrimp. Oh, I don't like crawfish. That's what it is. I don't like crawfish, Chaz. Now, I like crush, crawfish tails <laughs> that's already peeled. If I see the look, the look, uh, they turn me off. You know what I'm saying? What, mama? It's almost ready. Oh, thank you, Ivana. Are you talking about me or Faith? Hey, yo, yo, what's going on? Hi, Kelly, how you doing? Welcome. I'm making a Creole style okra gumbo, which is drumsticks, okra, pie burns, Creole sausage, whole tomatoes, and of course, yo, yo, get your seasoning. Come and get y'all some. Y'all gonna love it. Got one restaurant using it. He loves it. Y'all, he loved it so much. Y'all seen the taste test, right? He was licking the seasoning off of the plate. Woo! Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. Cool out. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Ivana. That's so sweet. It tastes good. I'm going to add a little bit more sea salt, okay? All, everything is marrying together, okay? Add a little bit more sea salt. And always taste your food, y'all. When y'all taste your food, you kind of have the idea of how everything is coming out. You won't have no surprises. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, 
Oh. Let me go ahead and mix it up a little bit more, okay? Mix it up a little bit more, okay? Yeah. Woo, this thing not playing. This burner right here get, yeah, I can have it on low and it still be cutting up, y'all. Still. Oh. Woo, shit. Sorry. Okay, I wanna add just a little bit more sugar. I wine find you. I wine find you. Oh, don't fall, please. Okay. Add a little bit more sugar. Okay. The sugar is going to kind of mix with that acid from the lemon, with all the seasonings, with the lime juice. Uh, marinated with the chicken with the seasoning and it's gonna blend perfectly okay Woo! lord it's hot oh all right let me get my top Alright, I'm gonna cover this real quick, okay? Cover it. She is worthy of that. What happened, y'all? Did I miss something? Is jambalaya like gumbo? No, jambalaya is more chess like um it's it's rice mixed with sausages, tomato sauce, tomato paste. Um, with shrimps and whatever type of seafood you want to put in. I haven't made a jambalaya. I will make one of those. Love you too, mama. Huh? What time is it? What time? All right, so now, let me cut on this vent real quick. Oh, you have to, yeah, I'm gonna do that. The crown, I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. You're the second one that like this crown. It's for sale. This is Moss Ackett. This is African. This is African glass. Comes from Africa. I'm hooked on yo yo. Aww, you so sweet. Where are you from, Miss Ivana? <laughs> Thank y'all. Y'all so sweet. My food friends, y'all always tell me. Y'all always tell me something nice all the time. I appreciate that. I appreciate the love. And me, I just use a regular rice okay yes I do wash my rice okay Make sure you get all the way at the bottom because 
You don't want nothing to stick to the bottom, okay? So make sure you go all the way to the bottom. Bring everything around, okay? Just like that. Now you got the okra up in there, whole tomatoes, chicken up in there, okay? All right, I'm gonna put this back on like that, all right? I think y'all will be able. Gumbo looks good. Thank you. Thank you, Vera. I live near the Motor City, Motown, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, wow. I've never been to Michigan before. I really do need to start traveling now. I really do. I need to get out of Michigan. Mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Faith going to have a heart attack when I leave her. Because I want to go to the Caribbean, the island, or something. I need a good break, y'all. For real. Let me show y'all how this look in the back. Let me just let y'all take a peek, okay? So today, everybody, I created taking it all the way back to how my grandmother used to do it. She used to make the bomb. Say the bomb. Okra gumbo is that. That's what my family calls it, okay? So I'm going to let y'all see how it look. How it's coming out. You said cold, huh? <laughs> All right. So we have a little bit of beef, fresh pie burn sausages up in there. I love to add whole tomatoes in my soup, y'all. It makes a difference. Okay. I seared my drumsticks before I even put it in the gumbo. So now the drumsticks are taking up the flavors of everything that I put in here. Y'all can see the lighting back here is really good, you know. And then I'll probably throw some basil over there to kind of tie everything together. The okra. This is my second pipe, y'all, because I didn't want to overcrowd. I did not. Oh, would y'all eat that? Oh, my goodness. Can y'all imagine how this is going to look in a big, pretty bowl with some white rice in the middle? Oh, y'all. I'm going to have to save my mom and dad some. I'm going to have to save them some because I know they're going to want some. I already know they're going to want some, you know. Okay. You can't see the lighting back here too good, everybody. All right? But, and then look how it's steaming. Now, this part right here have a little bit more in it, okay? It got a little bit more up in here. I'm actually going to take one of these drumsticks out. Woo! Put that on here, okay? Oh, wow. That's cold. <laughs> I know y'all can't see real good because this pot, y'all, is... Woo! This pot is on fire. Dang! Oh, this pot is not clean. You can't even see, okay? So you can see better the back one. I got this on low. I really want to cut this off, y'all, because that's how hot it is. I think it'll just cook just like that. Keep that top on it. All right. So I'm going to let it cook for probably like 45 more minutes. This is how everything is coming out. It's coming out beautiful. Coming out so nice isn't it yes yes so what you call it this is what my family call a okra gumbo i have pie burns beef and creole sausage whole tomatoes a whole bag of okra i have onions i have serrano pepper i have a whole onion actually okay and i'm actually cooking my rice over here in a, in a um, steamer I like my rice steam. I think it tastes good. Yeah, like that. Hi, y'all. And, you know, that's going to be, that's going to be my meal tonight. Oh, sorry to hear that, Miss Ivana. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I'm so, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't even believe I have the energy to even do this video. Do y'all know how much stuff I did today? Oh my goodness, y'all. I've been running around all day. And let me tell y'all, ladies, okay. So y'all know I did a video earlier. I'm finished cooking. I'm finished cooking. I'm going to let everything cook now for about another 45 minutes, okay? I'm going to let it cook for 45 minutes. And then after that, it'll be ready. And it's nice and soupy. It's healthy. 
It just has chicken, tomatoes, okra. The only starchy thing in there is going to be the rice that you're going to put in the middle. I want to find me some really nice, really, really nice bowls. I went to Pierre Imports today. I'm always meeting nice people like everywhere I go, right? And meeting people that's in the food industry. And this lady was like, you know, oh my gosh, I like your personality. I'm going to call you. Uh, she was a white lady, really sweet lady, right? And she was like, I'm going to call you, so remember my name. And she was like, uh, I'm going to tell, I think it was her daughter. She works at U of, U of H, University of Houston. And she does something in the kitchen or something there. So she was like, I'm going to tell her about you and this and that. So it's like the further I kind of push away, it's like the closer that God is trying to show me like, this is what I want you to do. It's so weird, y'all. I can't even explain it to y'all. You know, I've always liked to eat, <laughs> even when I was little. So y'all seen y'all seen the pictures of me when I was in high school and everything. And I can always get back to that size. But I'm comfortable within my own skin. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can always lose weight. We can always lose weight. I don't feel that I eat bad food. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. But, you know, it just seemed like everything just keep coming at me. That's food related. That's food related. So it's awesome. So it's kind of changing. You know, I always had an open mind. This is my motto. You always try to learn as much as you can in every area that you can. I have worked as much as what? Customer service before I went to school for medical assistant. Medical assistant for over, what, 17 years now? And so it's like you can't ever be closed-minded because when you close-minded is when you can actually miss a lot of good opportunities that may be the best option for your life or to make you a more happier person because I noticed that when I do work at the doctor's office, even though you're around professional people and I know how to act professional and all that kind of stuff. I even been doctor's head MA, y'all. I've been a bariatric coordinator, so I know what I'm capable of doing. But when I do those things, I feel stressed. Who likes to be stressed when you go to work? Who likes to rush to work every morning? Who likes not spending quality time with your kids? And I only have one. You know what I'm saying? So that makes you sad when you can't spend time with your kids like how you want to because of your job. Everybody has to work. We all know that. That's a part of life. That's how. That's just life. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is that whatever I do in my life, I just want to be happy. I want to be passionate about everything that I do. I want to put my all in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes me happy when my customers come back and tell me, oh, I love your soap. Oh, my gosh, I love, like, I've made special pieces for people, like Ethiopian jewelry. I have custom-made piece crowns. Miss Susan, you here? Miss Susie, it was her birthday. She wanted me to make her a crown. I made her a crown. So, thank y'all so much for believing in my craft, for loving my craft. And all I'm doing is sharing. Be quiet. Go ahead. So all I got to do, all I'm doing is just trying to show people, you know, things that I do. And, you know, if it can help you, then, you know, I welcome everybody to come to me. So I'm not going to stay on here long, everybody. I just want to uh, thank y'all for watching my video tonight. My name is Yolanda Patillo. I'm from Houston, Texas. And thank y'all so much for watching Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Houston, Texas. Today I created Southern Style Okra Gumbo, just like my grandma make it, okay? Everybody probably have their own, they all, you know, twist and turns, just like a regular seafood gumbo. Everybody create things differently. So it's not good to criticize people about how they do things because that's what makes you unique. That's what makes you unique is the way your style of how you bring it, of how you cook. You don't have to cook like me if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm only showing y'all what I do anyway if I wasn't on camera, okay? It ain't no contest with me. I ain't trying to, it ain't, I'm telling you, none of that. This is part of me marketing, marketing, marketing my business, okay? Oh, thank you. I had a bump on my nose earlier. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, thank you, Lanita. Miss Susie, I see you. Yes, you had a pretty crown. And I still got your picture and everything. Taking you to high heights. Yes, he does. Yes, right. All right, y'all. So, you have a beautiful night. I'm going to upload this video to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, 
please make sure you subscribe. You can go there anytime, any time of day, any any time of night. Don't matter, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. If you want to see me preparing something, I'm quite sure I'll be there preparing something, okay? Feel free to, you know, put positive comments and everything because I like to hear people feedback on things. And remember, also, I am doing, I want to do a romantic Valentine's Day dinner for a nice couple or whatever. Or whoever, if you just want a nice Valentine's Day dinner, I will be more than happy to come and create that for you, okay? Of a meal of your choice, all right? Um, make sure you check my website and you're going to see my pricing and everything, okay? And we're going to see how the next catering going to go. Because I've already been called today for my second catering. Uh-oh, y'all. So, you have a beautiful day. Thank you. I needed to hear that speech. Aw, thank you, Miss Susie. You have such a beautiful spirit. Love you. Be blessed. Good night. Aw, thank you, Miss Michelle. Thank you. Hi, Felicia. Welcome to Yo-Yo's Kitchen. If you're just coming in, please let me know where you're from, Okay. And I do go back and I do read my messages and I do respond. All right. If I don't respond back right away, y'all know it's because I don't want to. Like I said, I haven't even really rested today, but it's all good. You know, I'm all right. I'm okay. I can rest tomorrow. All right. So I did not get a chance to do the soap cut, everybody. I will do the soap cut tomorrow. I wanted to make my cucumber meal and soap today. I'm actually too tired, so I'm probably going to make it in the morning. Okay, I'll make it tomorrow. Yeah, have a good night. Thank y'all for watching. Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Houston, Texas, making a Creole-style okra combo. I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all for watching. You love this crown? Inbox me. It can be yours. Bye, everybody.